Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Kia Optima guys, practically any generation Kia Optima. And if you want to know what are the symptoms of bad exhaust manifold gaskets, stay with us. We will explain that guys, how to know you have one that's bad and what are the symptoms, what to expect if it goes bad. Now. We'll be demonstrating on a 2.4 GDI engine, but even if you have different engine, the procedure will be the same. And with the engine being out, we can clearly, guys, show you, okay, what are the symptoms of exhaust manifold gasket. So this should work on any generation Kia Optima, guys. Even if you have a different engine, the procedure will be about the same. Let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos, guys. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep providing this free information to you. If you need to buy tools or parts for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. In addition guys, if you have a Kia Optima and you want to see more videos about electrical components, please check out our second channel Electrical Car Repair Life, you can find quite helpful information there as well. So when you open the hood on your Kia Optima guys, you will face the engine that way, you will have an intake manifold here, all deep stick, you have the engine cover and if you come on the back side of your engine, on the opposite side of the intake manifold, you have the exhaust manifold, this is the z cylinder head, this is the exhaust manifold and uh, this is the gasket, okay guys, that's uh, between the cylinder head and the exhaust manifold. So if you look at it guys, that gasket now, okay, ours is leaking, okay, on cylinder number 3 we have that black spot and if you look at it right here, you can see where it was leaking, that creates a leak, exhaust leak, and it even uh, when you start the car is cold, it condensates, you can see it was even dripping uh, water and black stuff underneath as well. So when that gasket starts failing, what will happen? Okay, number one thing, when it develops a leak, you will hear that ticking noise from the engine because uh, the exhaust here comes under an enormous amount of pressure. So you will hear a clicking, ticking noise that will increase guys with the RPMs or when you're accelerating, when you're passing a vehicle, okay, or climbing a mountain, a hill. Uh, actually, when the engine is under load, you will hear that click, uh, ticking sound even more. Number two, that uh, exhaust leak actually, okay, will stay in the engine bay. And it will smell like exhaust because it will not go through the catalytic converter and it will not go through the muffler, so it will be straight exhaust. And that exhaust actually will be under the hood in the engine bay. And when you have your heater or AC on, you can easily smell that uh, exhaust in the cabin as well. You smell like uh, gasoline, like burning gasoline exhaust. And that's very dangerous because you can actually get uh, uh, carbon monoxide, I think, poisoning as well, because you may not know this. So if you have headaches, things like that, that could be the reason for that, guys, because uh, you, you can practically be uh, uh, exposed to that stuff without knowing it. Because when it's leaking, it will stay in the engine bay. From there, the uh, blower fan will uh, pick it up and it will be just pushed straight in the cabin. So uh, th those are some of the most uh, the most common ones that we see here at the shop. It's uh, important to fix it as soon as you can because it can cost your wife guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.